be approached by the heathen. So a lot of us be giving up. We ain't got hope. Hope is right here in this Bible. Give me the book of Sarah 420. I just downloaded it because of y'all. You see that? This is where our hope lies, but our people don't want it. I don't know why. Read what you got, up. Huh? Book of Sirach, chapter 4, verse 20. Bring it Observe up. Observe the opportunity. What, what your sister got to do? Observe, Observe the, the opportunity. Opp the opportunity. You running to and fro, got all these things to do, but you ain't got time for the Lord for real, for real. Go ahead and read. And beware of evil. And be what? And, and beware, beware of evil. evil. Evil all around us. Our people did going down on evil daily. Ain't, ain't worrying about washing themselves up. Go ahead. And be not ashamed when it can serve thy soul. Don't be ashamed when it concerns your soul, because guess what? A lot of people that's going to be in that lake of fire, you might be right next to them still screaming together, man. This ain't no joke and this ain't no game, man. God don't play. We in slavery because we didn't obey him. Now the people who don't want to obey him when the sun returns is going in the lake of fire. Yeah. Straight like that, man. Right. That's just what's going to happen. Give me the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3, Hebrew. It's the book of Luke. Chapter 13, verse 3. Bring it up. I tell ye nay, but except ye repent, ye He's shall all perish. likewise perish. We'll never even get to see what the kingdom of heaven is like, because they're going to perish, man. Never right. get to see what the riches that God yeah. already set up for us, because they ain't want to obey him. Amen. See, they, they ain't had time for him, right? They wanted to do all manner of wickedness, but they ain't had time for him, man. Right? right? Mm -hmm. But it, it's, it's a judgment for things of that nature, but a lot of our people... They don't know it. They don't know nothing about the Lord's judgment. That's why they did one dabble in sin, man. That's why we out here trying to save our people, sis. We out here trying to save you, man. So you can come up out of this nonsense out That's here, right. man. Right. Go ahead and give me that in the book. Can I like three more? Three 26 more? verse 9. I'm going to give you three more, but they're going to be harsh, sis. That's bad. That's All fine. All right. I'll take it. Look hey, at Chapter 26 verse 9. Bring it out. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through much liberty. See that? A lot of our people are abusing themselves. That's why you don't need all that makeup on, sis. Give me that in the book of Leviticus, chapter um, 1330. The eyelids. Oh, yeah, the eyelids. Did you just, read, did yeah. you, you just hear that? Did you hear yeah, that? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. What did God say? Go back to it. So I can. Yeah, Shout right, chapter 26, verse 9. Let's, let's read that one more time, huh? This is what God is telling our our daughters of Zion. Yeah, go Look ahead at Sirach, chapter 26, verse 9. Bring it out. The whoredom of a woman. The whoredom of a woman. This God is calling our women that do things like this. He's calling them whores. Right. Go ahead and read. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks. Her haughty looks. And eyelids. And what? And, and eyelids. eyelids. And what? And, and eyelids. eyelids. Go ahead and give me that in the book of Leviticus, chapter 13, verse 30, man. We got the beautifulest women out here. Our people don't makeup was never made for us, man. Not saying that you use makeup, but make a lot of our people dab on that makeup, man. Right, and trying to look for it, we don't, it wasn't made for us. Oh, Go ahead and read. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 13, verse 30. Bring it up. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be a straight salakia, if it be a sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. A what? A, a yellow, yellow thin, thin hair. Is blonde? A, a yellow, yellow thin, thin hair. hair. We don't know. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So we're not the word blonde. God hates blonde. Right? That's right. So while they sit there and push blondes have more fun, God hates them. God hates them as a nation. Oh, sorry. Y'all teach it oh, here. You see listening. that? Yeah. Give me the book of Deuteronomy 25. Right. You know what I'm saying? We teach because we have to. We teach the good and the bad. So right. The bad. right. Go ahead and read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Hold up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do a, okay. When you go to the restroom, right, do you go to the restroom with the pants on it or the restroom with the dress on it? Okay, read that one more time. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Cross dressing. Nope. Y'all the daughters of Zion. If, okay, if you get married, right? If you get married, your family is there. Okay. Your, 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 your husband's You're family is there. Okay. Natural. You see that? Why? Because you're a princess. Yeah. But why are you only a princess for just that one day? Uh. Did that make sense? Teach, I God made you a princess from birth. Uh. But you know why we don't do these things? Because we don't follow God. We could care less about I'm so God. I'm shocked right you now. See that? So I'm not supposed to wear pants. I'm not supposed to wear makeup. I'm not supposed to wear blonde hair. Uh. I'm just supposed to be who 
That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, all right. You're that teaching me. Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead and read that again for the top, huh? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it a up. woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Because God don't like men fitting on a woman's garment. I can't fit on no dress. Would you really respect me? Would you respect me if I had a dress on? Uh -huh. I hope not. Uh -huh. Well, that's off. Go ahead and read. Because I know a couple people from different places out there. And then, For all and then, and culture. Okay. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So whoever cross-dressed is an abomination. Do you know what abomination is? Yeah. What is an abomination? Abomination is what you're supposed to think that was supposed to be. Sorry, Rock 15, 13. Am I right? What's that again? That was supposed to be. Nah, 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 nah. We're going to let's find out. Okay. What is an abomination according to the Most High God? Read what you got. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 13. Bring it up. The Lord hated all abominations. Oh, what the Bible say? The, the Lord, Lord hated, hated all, all abominations. Abomination. abomination is something that God hates. Now, let's give me the book of Zephaniah 1 and 8. Let's see what's the ultimate judgment for people oh. that wear that cross dress. This is what's going to happen to them. If you run across men with dresses on, and I wear pants. And you wear pants. Okay. This is the judgment. Book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Bring it up. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princess and king's children and all such that are clothed with strange apparel. So the women that don't have dresses on, the Lord crack that sky. Oh punishment. Goodness. Punishment. These are the things that we do not know because what? Well, we don't know that. our God, sis. I gotta get myself See that? Yeah, you do, sir. So we pray I'll hope be that you do. I am not welcome to the heavenly gate. You see that? I do good. I do good. I do good. And I believe in nothing but positivity. Second Ezra 7 to 20. We're going to show you something. I'm so mad if I am not welcome to the heavenly gate. We're going to show listening. you something. Matter of fact, give, give me, me second Ezra. Quote. Give me second Ezra 9 and 11. Get that one. Give me a good one I can at least think about. We're going to give you a good one that you, you can think about. You already got ready to read the King James when I walk away. All praises. It's the book of Second Edges, chapter 9, verse 11. Bring it out. And they that have loathed my law. They that cast away God's law. While they had yet liberty. While you got liberty. You can repent. You can have liberty to come up and learn the true words of the true gospel of your God. Go ahead. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. And now a place of repentance is open unto our people. Go ahead. Understood not. But our people don't understand true repentance. Go ahead and read. But despised what it. They do? But, but despised they do? But despised it. They do God's repentance? But, but despised, despised it. The Lord died on the cross, took that beating. God, that was done for us to give us repentance. But our people want to despise it, so go ahead and read. The same must know it after death by pain. After death by what? By God pain. God, by what? By God, pain. God ain't playing. He the one took that beating, right? And don't think now our people think we're going to just sin and then go to heaven. No, he took that beating so you don't want to follow his doing his father's commands. You're going to go through pain. I he had to that. go through it. He did it for us. So since we don't want to return the favor, now we're going to go through yep. that pain. Yep. That's the only right. That's crazy. Here you go, sis. Yeah, YouTube channel. You. WFI Pittsburgh. Check that out. Type That's that in. Website? That's our website. All right. Yeah, I got this. This is mine. Right, we got one more for you. One more. Okay, Leviticus, give me one more. Uh, 20 and 13. Because we're only going to read this because we've seen you out here with someone earlier. So go ahead and read it. Okay. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. If, go ahead. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. What is an abomination? Something God don't like. God hates it. God hates it. He hates it. Can you imagine doing something I'm that sorry, God I'm hates? I that word hate. I was raised yeah, you. read that one more time from the top, huh? Book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. Bring it up. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. What's going to happen to them? They shall surely be put to death. God don't play, sis. You didn't know this, but you know it now. So today, now you've been marked. You've been marked, sis. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to take this information and roll with it yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There ain't going to be no excuses. This is deep. You see what I'm saying? Give me the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 25. And I'm gonna, we're going to let you go off of this one. All okay, right? Okay, baby. Okay, I'm listening. Because you taught me. man told. taught us that woman can be with woman and man can be with man. That's what man taught us. God said that's an abomination. He hates it. So go ahead and read. It's the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Bring it up. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Man, no man, woman, man. no woman. Is that right? Read it again, up. 
Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Man on man, woman on woman. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Now we serve in the creature, which is man, more than the creator. Because man told us that we could be with woman on woman and man on man. Right? Uh, right? They the ones that set up these abortion clinics, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But they do it and our people flock to it. Uh, yeah. Whenever a man say it's okay, our people do. They legalize weed, now everybody's doing weed. There ain't no consequences now, but it's a, it's a judgment of consequences because God's going to rain it down, man. Right. We'd rather, I'd rather get my ass whooped by man than God. He busts That's me. Right. right. He busts That's me. Right. Uh, guess teach, what? Uh, Give me the book of um, Luke chapter uh, 78, verse 49. Psalm 78, 49. Okay. Slot, you king. It's the book of Psalms. Chapter 78, verse 49. Verse 49. Bring it out. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger. God get angry, sis. Don't think that God is always chilling. He get angry. Yes, he Go ahead and read. Wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. What did he do? By, by sending, sending evil, evil angels, angels among them. So when our life is hell and we're going through hell, we at the bottom and can't get up. Every time we do something, we fall back down because the Lord can sit that evil angel. He's making sure that you ain't going to rise up. That's he's right. making sure that everything you do is going to fail. Uh -huh. We don't know this. We don't understand this, sis. Take heed. Oh, I'm sorry. I was Take like, that's heed. rude. <laughs> okay, y'all taught me. I'm going to go on this website. Right, and I'm going to read. You got to repent. Y'all got like All right, you got to repent, sis. Did you say rude? He, he wasn't rude. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm not with none of that. Um, thank you for helping me. Welcome, sis. Y'all have a blessed night and a blessed day. All right, you too. And just thank you so much. I hope you take heed to it. Please like, take heed. I am, because I'm not that type of person. Like, you're going to open my eyes. I really try to do good for myself as a woman mm -hmm. and for my son because I'm a single parent. Okay. I've been single for a year. My son's only nine months old. Yeah, you, he so needs his mom. He's so me, and I don't have an issue with being mommy and daddy because his daddy's oh, not around. We got to get one more. I'm sorry. Okay. One more. Second okay. Timothy. First Timothy. Is it about, about, about the woman. Okay. Doing as a parent. God gonna tell you the instructions that he made for y'all going to. It's the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. Bring it up! And like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Dress, modest apparel, long dress. Not a dress for throwing your curves. No, modesty. That may a man can respect you and wife. Go ahead, because the man ain't going to respect no woman with tight stuff. That's a thought. He, he just trying to smash. Yeah. yeah but if you want a real husband, you got to be modest, not looking like, oh, don't no real man want no whore out here. Right. Go ahead and read. First Timothy right. 2 and 9. Bring it in up. like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which becometh women professing Godliness, Godliness. Go ahead. With good works. With good works. I mean, you got to be in the scriptures teaching your son. Sis, go ahead and read. Let the women learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to observe authority over the man. When we be out here teaching, y'all women cannot speak. You speaking now because your husband is not with you. See what I'm saying? And we teaching you. But you can't, you got women teachers out here, like women pastors or evangelists. Uh -huh. That's, that's man all. Ain't right in the head. What if your man ain't right, then you gotta pray for him. You gotta get yourself right and pray for him. Go ahead and read. For Adam was first born, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman, being deceived, was in the transgression. Go ahead. And, Salakia. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Go ahead. That's it. What book were you at? First Timothy 2. And we started at 9 and went down to 15. Okay, first Timothy 5, 14. I'm going to let her go with that. It's the book of First Timothy, chapter 2, verse 14. Bring it up. Bring it up. Go ahead. Bring it up. I will therefore that... The younger woman, the who? The younger the woman, woman the, sister? the younger, younger woman, woman young princess. Go ahead. Mary, bear children, guide the house, give non occasion to the adversary to speak, read appropriately. What are we doing? You're talking to talk. This is the book of First Timothy, 
chapter 5 and verse 14. Bring it out. I will therefore that the younger woman marry. I mean, what they supposed to be doing? Mary. Mary. No, run the streets. Mary. Mary. What else? Bear children. What are they supposed to be doing? Bear, Bear children. children. Go ahead. Guide the house. What are they supposed to be doing? Guide, Guide the, the house. house. No, out running around. Guide, Guide the, the house. house. Joining in the clubs. Guide, Guide the, the house. house. Turning up in the bars. Guide, Guide the, the house. house. Supposed to be at home. So let's go ahead and read. Don't be talking about me like that. Give non occasion to the adversary. Don't give non occasion to the adversary. The adversary is the enemy. So him to come in and mess stuff up. Go ahead. It's so like if you with your husband, don't be out here giving time to the adversary to sleep with somebody else. Or, you know what I'm saying, do anything that could break up your household. Go ahead. Give non occasion to the adversary to speak reproachably. That's For, a, that's a good one. Uh, so there you go. We gave you a little bit of medicine, sis. No, you gave me a lot of it. All praises. Okay. All right, sis. So you, you um continue to... Look at that, check out that YouTube ready channel. Bring my damn eyelashes off. I just hey, take pray. Yeah, oh, God God don't like it. God don't like it, sis. Oh, pray. You gotta pray. Pray. That's oh, right. Hallelujah. All right, sis. Hallelujah. 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 That's what we out here for, man. To wake our people up, to bring them to right. the light. And I she ain't know a lot of things, yo. But see the 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 Bible. It's either cut you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, give me that in the book of Titus chapter 1, verse 13, huh? Titus 1, 13, right? And this is important, man. The gospel is the good news, but everybody don't want to take heed to the good news because it may hurt. Mm -hmm. But that sister still here. She's still here and took that judgment, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ooh, what you got, huh? It's the book of Titus chapter 1, verse 13. Bring it up. This witness is true. Right. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply. Rebuke them what? Rebuke, rebuke them, them sharply. sharply. He was giving her a sharp, harsh rebuke, but the sister was taking it. Why? Because there's fair, fair record with God. Go ahead and read. That they may be sound in the faith. That they may be what? That, that they, they may, may be, be sound, sound in, in the, the faith. faith. So now she could come back and be sound in the truth, in the faith. Go ahead. Right. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. Not giving heed to these Jewish lies. That they're entitled, that they're gonna, they saved already, and they're going to go to the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead and read. Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men. And what? And, and commandments, commandments of men. men. We out here to bring people, all people out of that mess, man. Right? In the book of Matthew 11 and 6. How you doing, sister? You believe in the Bible? You believe in God? Do what you got, huh? It's the book of Matthew, chapter 11 and verse 6. Bring it out. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. What did God say? And blessed, blessed is he. Me. Whosoever shall not, not be offended, offended in me. And our sister wasn't offended neither. Uh, hey, I'm most great. sisters be offended when we bring them type of scriptures out, man. Uh, hey, right. when we bring Deuteronomy 22 and 5, the woman, the woman shall not wear what I pertain to a man. A lot of our women run away. They did. The other two. They, 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 be, they be gone, so man. You said it, right? Right. right? So it's like, hey, she was taking that sharp rebuke, That's man. Right. And she was handling it. It was uh, hitting her spirit, man. And more uh, willing, she gets up out of come up out of that stuff, uh, man. Uh, we we taught her that. things out of the Bible that's in the Bible that she never heard before, that's man. That's right. All praises. Right? All praises. Uh, the other sister, she didn't even hear this stuff, and she went to church her whole life. Uh, right. She went to church her whole life, right. and we was hitting her with this. She didn't even know she was Israel, man. Uh, right. But that, right. guess what? The church is doing a hell of a job deceiving our people. Uh, that's just what right. it shows us, man. They're not right. teaching the word as it is written. That's They're not right. teaching our people that we the biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of, That's man. Right. They deceiving our people. They still teaching us that we Gentiles, man. That's right. Right? Still pitting the other nations on top of us, man. Right. It's the other way around when you read the Bible, That's man. That's right. right. But our people don't know this, man. Give me that in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 18. 24, 13. Start there, huh? Book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. Read it out. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And he that endure unto the end, the same gonna be saved. Read on the 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. And this gospel is gonna be preached all around the world, man. That's all right. every continent, they gonna hear this word. Go ahead and read. For a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And then shall what? And then shall the end come. And then shall the end come. Then shall the end come.